Good morning, yogis, and welcome back onto the mat with me this morning. For today's class, we'll be practicing a yin yoga um, session with specific focus on neck and shoulders. So I find that during this time, a lot of people are really battling and struggling with problems and stiffness and tension through the neck and shoulders. Not only are we spending a lot of time behind computers, we're also finding ourselves really feeling this weight of what is going on around us in the world right now. And that is making us feel as though we're carrying this massive weight on our shoulders. So allow us to go through a sequence today that will help to release and shift some of the tension that you're finding in your neck and on your shoulders. And maybe even just shifting some of the thoughts of that heaviness and the thoughts of the heaviness of what's going on around us. So grab yourself a mat. For this yin yoga sequence, we're gonna, you're gonna need a couple of props. So grab hold of a blanket if you have one nearby. Grab hold of a couple of pillows or a bolster if you have a bolster. And then also grab hold of a couple of thick books or yoga blocks. And if you have anything that can act as a yoga strap, either a scarf or a belt, grab hold of that now too. Let's meet on the mat for this yin yoga session. So, we're going to begin with the meditation, which you are welcome to take in Sukhasana or easy seat, sitting with the legs crossed out in front of you on your mat, or you can take this meditation in hero pose by sitting or bringing the buttocks down onto the heels, knees are bent. So, whatever you feel you need here. And then when you are ready, sit bones are pressed down. You can gently place one palm over the other if you're in hero pose and if you're in easy seat just rest the backs of the hands gently onto the knees, palms facing upward. And then gently close the eyes. Allowing yourself to become settled within the body and within the space you're in on your mat. Allowing yourself this time now to bring full focus and awareness to your brain. Begin by reaching up from the base of the spine all the way along each one of the vertebrae until you arrive at the back of the neck. So growing tall. Consciously working here on allowing the shoulders to drift away from the ears. Awareness once more being brought back to the breath. And as you connect now to your life force, your prana, begin to notice sensations within the body and possibly thoughts that are drifting around in your mind. And once you've noticed those, you can draw your awareness once more back to the breath. Deeply inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Begin to study the quality of your breath as you sit here on your mat with me this morning. As you deeply inhale and exhale, Full sensory awareness, breathing in cool air, and this, the feeling of that cool air traveling up into the nostrils. And then as you exhale, breathing out warm air. Once more, noticing warm air as it flows out through the nostrils. Inhaling cool air. Exhaling warm air. So 
noticing how silent and how quiet the mind becomes when we continuously nudge it back to the movement of the breath. We're taking our last couple of breaths here. Draw your awareness back into the body once more as you begin to flatter the eyes open, coming back into the room. Beautiful. Welcome back. Let's move now into our very first yoga position, or in, in fact, sorry, a yin position, which is a neck release. So we're going to begin by dropping the left ear over to the left shoulder. So once you get there, you have a few different options here for how you're going to take this shape. So you can either just stay as you are, if you're already feeling enough um, of a target in the neck, the neck is really super tight, just be very mindful and respectful. Yin yoga, we are respectful of the body. So left ear to left shoulder. You can sweep the right hand out beside you drawing the fingertip down towards the mat, so extending the arm and reaching away. So already then you will feel a more intense um, sensation up along and over the shoulder into the neck. The third add-on is to sweep the left hand up and over, dropping the hand onto the head, and then pressing the head up into the hand, so we're not pulling down. We're actually just using the weight of the arm and the head relaxed to press against the side of the face. If you feel that you'd like to take a little more, you can sweep the right hand behind the back and draw it up in between the shoulder blades. So you can have a look at that from the back view. So, you have those options, those few options of how you go into the posture. We are taking three minutes on either side, so settle now into the shape that works best for you. And once you've found that space of stillness, really allow yourself to soften, and to let go. And as usual, we're working into the three principles of yin yoga, which are to find an edge, which is usually at around a five, five out of 10. Then to find stillness by not fidgeting or moving around, and finally to hold the posture. Within this first minute, you can also raise the chin up towards the sky and dip it back down towards the chest, really feeling into sensations through the neck, checking where you may need a little bit more or less. Once more throughout this practice, we're going to bring awareness and focus to the breath. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Moving into our last minute here. For the sake and sense of really tapping into the stillness of the practice today, I'm not going to say too much as we take each posture. Really just allowing yourself to go into a space of stillness. 
So not only benefiting from the actual stretches, but finding stillness within each and every shape. Gently release the hands, draw the crown of the head back up towards ceiling and immediately drop right ear over to right shoulder. So we're moving now onto the other side. So right ear drops to right shoulder and then you have the option to extend the left hand or arm down towards the mat, fingertips touching. And if you want to add to that, you can gently sweep right arm up overhead to rest onto the ear. And finally, if you need a little bit more, you can sweep the hand behind the lower back or palm in between the shoulder blades, whatever works for you here. And then once more, as we begin to find our edge in the posture, you can move the chin up towards ceiling and down, really finding the sweet spot of where your body most needs the stretch today. Closing the eyes, and once more finding that space of stillness within. bringing awareness back to the breath if the mind begins to wander inhaling and exhaling through the nose big deep breaths The last minute here, how can you soften and settle and release a little bit more into the shape? continuously back to your breath, anchoring to that space of stillness within. Moving into last 15 seconds. hand aside, right hand coming back to the knees, draw the crown of the head back up to ceiling and then just drop the chin in to kiss against the neck. Take a couple of breaths here, <sighs> lengthen up through the spine, keeping chin tucked, one last deep inhale. And then exhale, gently raise the head back up once more. We're moving into our next 
um, shape, which is called bow tie. So I'm going to sort of lie forward so that you can see me head on. And this is a really amazing stretch through the shoulders. So looking at me head on, you're going to come lying down on the belly. So let me demonstrate this side for you first. Bringing, setting up hands into sphinx at first, we're going to take the right arm underneath the left elbow as though you were going into a sort of thread the needle. But it doesn't stop there. We now move the left arm over to the other side and we begin to flatten down as far as you can go. Now, you may be able to just rest the chin onto the tops of the arms or you might need the help of a prop here. So, resting forehead down onto prop. Palms are facing upward. Soften down into the shape and let go. So, I'll show you the shape once more from the front view. This time my legs will be up because I don't have much space. But coming into it from Sphinx, threading right hand underneath left elbow and then threading left hand across. So arms are crossed over, make a bit of space for the upper chest and then you can rest forehead. Be here for three minutes. Soften the whole body. Target area for the stretch is through the shoulders. This posture or shape is called bow tie. Once you find your stillness, just let go, soften into the shape. Enjoying the target area stretch of bow tie between the shoulders. The sequence that we're doing today would focus on the neck and shoulders is also working into the heart and lung meridians. So once more in Yin Yoga we work on the Chinese meridian lines, the energy lines that run through the body. We work to unblock these lines. Whenever we work in anything through the chest or the neck or across the chest or we're working into the heart and lung meridian. The sequence is also working on opening up of the throat chakra. So your ability to speak your truth, but also to hear the truth, or just to hear in general. Gently come out of the shape, coming back in to Sphinx pose. We get ready to set up now to the other side. Right hand threads underneath the left arm and right arm threads across to the left side. Once more when you're there, 
Find your space of stillness, let go, and relax. Soften beautifully into the shape. Allow your body to melt down. work into the throat chakra, our ability to speak truth, to hear truth. In this very interesting time that we're going through, I think it's important to open up this throat chakra. Important to be able to ask for help if you need it. Important to be able to take all of the news that surrounds us and be able to take this in a very balanced and neutral way. So really good to be working into this throat chakra. Target area once more for bow tie is across the tops of the shoulders. the last few seconds. Gently fold yourself out of the posture, coming back into Sphinx Pose. You can move your block aside. Let's lower forehead down to kiss onto the mat. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes and we're gently going to press back, rolling all the way, buttocks back down towards knees. Tap the forehead onto the mat. Just stretch out through the upper body. And as you exhale, gently come back up into seated. We're going to take our next posture, which is called Archer Arms. In Hatha style yoga, this is called Cow Face Arms. So you have a couple of options here. And in fact, let's just remain in Sukhasana or easy seat for this posture. So we're going to start on the right side. We're going to take the right hand all the way up to the sky and then drop it in between the shoulder blades. Then sweep the left hand behind the back to meet right hand and grab hold of fingers here. Now this is if you can reach. If not, and if you've had any issues or um, uh, dislocations through the shoulders, please be careful of this posture and just set intention for it. You can also grab hold of your yoga strap here. So if you're unable to reach, you just bring the hands closer together by holding onto the strap. Sitting up nice and tall, lengthening through the, um, through the back and through the spine here for three minutes. Archer arms. Close the eyes. Allow yourself to go inward. 
relaxing and letting go. If you find the mind begins to wander, softening into the stretch, opening up and surrendering. the last 15 seconds. Gently release the arms, drop the hands back down towards the knees and we get ready to move over into the other side now, sending the right arm so left arm up to the ceiling, draw left hand behind the neck and into the shoulders and then right hand swoops up behind to meet. So once more, if your hands are not touching, grab hold of a strap, grab hold of a scarf or whatever you have to join the hands together and then let's Settle here for three minutes. So again, you're looking for the edge of a five. Allowing your body to settle in that space. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Moving into the last 15 seconds of the stretch. Gently come out. Dropping hands down onto knees. Taking gentle into the body, we're getting ready for the next shape, which is a lying chest opener. So coming down onto the belly, 
drop baby down onto the mat and allow the forehead to kiss the mat. Take the left hand out beside you, palm is facing flat, arm is extended away from the body. Right, oh sorry, left cheek pops down onto the mat, we roll over onto the left hips and we take the right leg and plant the right foot behind the left knee. And then from here, we take the hand, either palms press into the mat in front of the face, or you can draw the hand behind the back, allowing it to settle. We here for two minutes. Plant the right sole of the foot into the mat. Settle into the shape. It's a beautiful opening through the chest. So a space where we often find ourselves working and hunched over a desk. This is a really great way to work this tension out of the shoulders. Deep breaths here. Target area once more is in the shoulders here. If any sensation is too much, just gently roll out. So really move at your pace. some deep work into the shoulders here. Really be kind and gentle to yourself. <sighs> breathing deeply into the breathing cavity. Up and down, side to side, forward and back. Last deep inhalation. <sighs> and as you exhale, gently replace hand back onto the mat, roll over onto the belly once more, drop the forehead back down, replace the arm, we're moving over to the other side, so right hand extends out, and then left cheek rests on the mat, we're rolling over onto the right hip, and then taking this left foot, planting the sole of the foot behind the right knee, you can either press palm into the, into the mat or sweep this left hand behind the back. So again, whatever works for you. And then settle. Close eyes. Relax and soften. Focus and awareness once more back to the breath. Allow yourself to be fully focused on the inhalation and exhalation. Left foot is planted down into the ground. Really feel a softening through the shoulders, feel a softening into the belly. Now yourself this time here. to restore, to let go. We 
be moving into the last 30 seconds. over onto the belly, bringing one hand on top of the other to support and rest the forehead. Just take a couple of restful breaths here. Before we move into the next shape, which is Sphinx Pose. So, Sphinx Pose, elbows are stacked underneath the shoulders, hands are extended forward, reaching and out of the shoulders, so not dumping down into them, but lengthening up and then softening the buttocks. We're taking two minutes in Sphinx, and then from there we're going to press up into Seal Pose. Now, all you do to transition from one to the other is just press palms firmly into the mat, raise up the chest, gaze forward, close the eyes. So if it's too much for you to take seal, just stay in Sphinx for the full or next two minutes. So bring awareness back to the breath. Soften entire body, soften chest, soften lower back, soften buttocks, soften thighs, soften calves and feet. Target area for this stretch is through the low back. Belly is resting onto the ground. Beautiful deep breaths, filling up the entire chest cavity. Start dumping through the shoulders or allowing shoulders to come up towards ears. Just keep a bit of length here. Keep some lift through the front of the chest. And we're going to transition now into seal pose. So extending or pressing palms into the mat, straightening of the elbows. So don't lock them. Just have a slight micro bend. And gaze forward. And then allow and consciously draw shoulders down. So let shoulder blades melt down the spine. And then we're here for two minutes. if you can. Hands are nice and widespread. Focuses on the breath. Focuses on lifting up through the chest. Opening up the throat chakra. Last 30 seconds of the shape. Mm 
Gently drop forearms back down onto the mat and then send them out to the edges of the mat. Bring one hand on top of the other, raise the forehead. Gently rock the hips from side to side. Just taking movement to decompress through lower spine. Tuck the toes and we gently get a press back into child's pose. We're going to take um, a couple of variations that you can try here in child's pose. The first one is to keep knees together, to drop the belly, oh, sorry, the, heel, the buttocks back onto the heels, and then to fold down, melt over the thighs, kiss the forehead to the mat, and draw the hands around, touching the feet. So this is first option, it's a beautiful one. It's, it's um, very relaxing and a beautiful way of Extending and lengthening through spine. But if you'd like to come into extended wide legged, you can also bring forehead down and then bring elbows out to the sides of the mat. Join the fingers together in a pyramid shape and just stay there. This is a lovely way. It's also a lovely uh, lengthening of the spine but also a softening of the shoulders. Finally, um, you can also thread the arms through towards the feet and then draw up the forehead down so that you have the knees a little bit wider here. So whichever one you choose to take, go into that shape now and we're here for two minutes. So really allowing yourself beautiful time in this restorative posture. Forehead is resting on the ground, eyes are closed, take some deep breaths into the, breath, the breathing cavity Expanding through the lungs and the chest and the ribs. Taking a couple of sighs here if you need to. Tightening the mind once more, really softening into the shape wherever you're at. If you're in the wide legged or arms threading through or traditional child's pose with knees together, just allow the body to really sink down. Feel some grounding down here into the into Mother Earth beneath you. Moving into the last 30 seconds here. Bring hands underneath the shoulders. Gently roll yourself to uncurl the spine, coming back up into seated. We're going to take our final um, posture, which is called supported fish. So for this shape, you can grab hold of your couple of um, pillows, or if you're lucky enough to have a bolster, grab hold of bolster, place it right firmly underneath the buttocks and all two pillows on top of one another and then gently allow yourself to fold back over the bolster send the legs down towards the bottom of the mat 
bring the palms of the hands up beside you so really allow this opening through the chest and then also once more focus on the breath here we here for three minutes closing the eyes and really allowing yourself to enjoy the benefits of this wonderful restorative posture supported fish target area for supported fish is a gentle flexion of the lower spine and then also that sinking down and opening of the shoulders the opening of the chest it's a really beautiful way of also working into the throat chakra Are you able to soften into the shape just a little more? Can you consciously soften both legs? Can you consciously allow both arms, forearms to sink into the ground? Maybe holding no tension through the arms or the shoulders at all, totally, totally relaxed. Chin ever so slightly tucked to chest as you lengthen through the back of the neck. The ability to take deep breaths right into the lungs to expand through the ribcage. into the last 30 seconds of our supported fish pose. Just noticing if you've been able to completely soften the body over your bolster or pillows. Gently rolls over to one side and shift the bolster out of the way and then come down into Shavasana or final relaxation. So allow the soles of the feet now to drift to the edges of your mat. Draw the hands out beside you, palms facing upward. Allowing yourself now to soak up the benefits of the practice to let go and relax. Bringing awareness to the tips of the toes, soles of the feet and ankles. Consciously letting go and relaxing here. Scanning up through calves and shins. Softening through the thighs. Softening of the hips. Softening of the belly. Softening through the shoulders. Forearms melting down into the mat. Upper arms weightless. 
Bring awareness into the neck and the muscles around the mouth and the eyes. Allowing this whole area to unclench, soften and let go. Bringing awareness into the forehead. Moving up to the crown. And finally to the back of your head where it's resting on the mat. Allowing everything to sink down just that little bit deeper. Full awareness of the entire body and every part of your body which is melting down into the earth beneath the earth. And then gently beginning to bring awareness back to your breath. You can start to wriggle the toes, bringing some movement back into the feet. Gently taking the tip of the thumb, drawing it across the tips of your fingers, allowing your head to roll over from one side to the other side, gently drawing your arms up overhead, taking a last deep, deep stretch, and then gently rolling over onto your right or left side for a last moment. So just stay down, taking the last moment. And for today, I have a reading on compassion and a poem entitled Kindness by Naomi Shihab, who wrote, Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment, like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go, so you know how desolate the landscape can be. Between the regions of kindness. And then it brings me to the relation of compassion to yoga. Yoga is a practice of non-violence, of love. We start by learning kindness towards ourselves. We learn to take our sorrows and our hurt and wrap them in a blanket of our own self-love. And when we learn to be compassionate, we take that blanket of love and then go and drape it across the entire world. Bringing the hands into prayer. Just connecting palms for a moment. Connecting to yourself, right and left, uh, left hemispheres to touch. Gently beginning to rub the palms together, generating warmth. And then sending that warmth into the heart center, connecting here, taking a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, the nose down to fingers. Acknowledging yourself for turning up to the practice, for turning up for yourself. Well on the way for self-compassion. Namaste.